last night there were 32 cases. If you feel you wake up every day in a movie, perhaps it's contagion which near imagined our world today. Real life and art are jumbled up too <coughs> for epidemiologist Ian Lipkin. He was a scientific advisor to the movie, but mid-March tested positive for COVID-19. The first couple of days, you feel like an elephant sitting on your chest. I was in China the second half of January, returned in early February. No illness whatsoever, although I was placed in isolation. And uh, I became ill on the streets of New York. Our pandemic is no movie, and Lipkin is one of many scientists with something very new and real to say today about where the virus came from. The dominant theory is that it leapt in its current dangerous form from animals, maybe a bat, into humans late last year is being questioned. A recent study in Nature Medicine magazine says the leap may have happened months or years ago, and then the virus circulated less lethally in humans and adapted to be more infectious to them before becoming the monster it is now. I think it probably circulated in humans for some time. How long? We may never fully reconstruct that. What people try to do is to use genetic evidence to look at the time of the most recent common ancestor, <coughs> examining, I'm sorry, my cough is already contagious, as you can see. It could have been circulating for, you know, for months or even years. Before we hear from an author of the study, here's Kate Winslet from the movie telling you how to wash your hands. The water doesn't need to be that hot. And most any soap will do. Professor Robert Gary wrote in the study that the virus could have been in humans for years. The spark that ignited this uh, surely only took place uh, a few months ago. There could have been other you know, sparks that were set off that made smaller fires and we just didn't detect it. It's a wide range of time that you can, can select. You know, there are some coronaviruses that we know about, some of the milder ones that circulated for decades before we actually first discovered the first one. Before we ask a veterinary epidemiologist's opinion, it's Matt Damon's turn. That was a movie, This Is Real Life, Day six feet away from another person. Has the virus been in us for a while? This is what viruses do. It probably had some adaptation to humans before it jumped into humans, but it probably then um, adapted further, improved its ability to infect and transmit between people um, once it got into people. The virus travels through human contact. The movie in reality will probably end the same way, except in the movie, the vaccine took days, not months. Oh, and no vaccine this time. But ultimately, we have to have a vaccine because this virus is going to be endemic in the human population. It is going to recur. 